All right, I mentioned in passing in a video, actually yesterday, about the fact I'm using Chromecast on my little TV here. I uh, could get a bigger screen I got one of these days. But uh, uh, that uh, I'm just basically uh, casting from this uh, phone. I can't show you the phone because that's what I'm doing the uh, video on. Uh, to the, uh, to the uh, TV. Uh, and I didn't clarify there's some special needs here. So I don't want anybody to go out and buy Chromecast. And think that's all you're going to need to, to get your information. Or to to mirror your phone in this case youtube netflix etc it's not all you're going to need you're going to need some other things uh, if you are a couple then you probably already have all you need if if you both have cell phones that have data and unlimited is probably what you're going to need because you're going to you're going to burn through a lot of data using video and uh if you've got two phones, you got all you need, but there's a special thing you've got to do. You've got to configure one of those phones as a hotspot in that case. And use the other phone to connect to that hotspot. And your Chromecast is going to connect to that hotspot. So the other phone is going to be a hotspot. Now, you don't have to have a f uh, two phones. Uh, a lot of people do. Uh, virtually, if you've got a couple, you've both got phones. Uh, so that's why i'm mentioning that as an alternative the other alternative is this i am using right now i i bought before I even got thought about getting in the van i had a hot spot so this is a in this case an at&t hot spot and this hot spot is what i'm using to connect from my phone because my phone can't be running a hot spot it has to be independent you can run the hotspot and you can you can configure the Chromecast to go to the hotspot, but unless you unless you have a phone that's not the hotspot, you're just wasting your time. So I use this hotspot and this is what both my phone what is is connecting to and the Chromecast is connecting to. Uh, if I don't have that I can't use Chromecast. I'm sorry I didn't clarify that. Uh, I just I just always buy the hotspot or the little hotspot device with the phone because uh, I'm always trying to be independent as possible. And sometimes you don't want your phone just to be the only hotspot you've got. So and 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 in this case, it's both the same vendor, both the same account. So <coughs> excuse me, still trying to get rid, rid of this cough. They're sharing data. So the hotspot is burning data and his phone is burning data. They're burning each other's data. It's one account. So, you know, so I just want to let you know. So if you're going to do the Chromecast, like I said in the other video, understand you're going to need not only need your cell phone, you're going to need a hotspot or you're going to need another cell phone acting as a hotspot. Because you're both going to need to connect to the same hotspot. That means the Chromecast and your phone in order to send your video to the uh, to the screen. All right, that's all I've got to say. I just want to make sure I clarify that uh, because uh, I got a question about it. I said, doggone it, I don't want people to running out and just getting Chromecast and all they've got is a phone, one phone, and a hotspot won't work. You have to have a hotspot independent. And those two devices, your phone and the Chromecast, have to to have to connect through that independent hotspot it cannot exist on your phone because if it exists on your phone you can't as far as i know the current technology i'm working with you can't also be on your hotspot and be the hotspot all right talk to you later sorry for the confusion